Earlier this year, I made two videos on YouTube where I snapped open slabs that I felt were undergraded and I sent them over to PSA. Now what I found was that not only can these grades be improved, but I've had an insane amount of luck doing this so far. This included taking cards that had just been graded by PSA, were serial numbered, and I sent them again and actually upgraded multiple cards that I felt like should have been 10s. Now this video, we're stepping it up a notch. I'm gonna snap open three slabs from BGS, three from SGC, and three from PSA. And we're gonna see how we do. This video includes three of the biggest cards in my collection, and I am taking a huge risk by trying this, but I'm gonna trust what's happened so far and just cross my fingers. Now let's see how we do and see if this was a complete mistake or a really good idea that worked out for me. First up, we have literally my favorite card in my entire collection. This is the 2002 Finest Gold Refractor Peyton Manning, numbered out of 25. It's a BGS 9.5 with quad 9.5 subgrades, so I really thought I had a good shot here. Now when I opened it, guys, you have to look at this. I noticed the surface had some scratches. BGS, why did you give this a 9.5? Now, fingers crossed, I think this can still gem, so we're going to have to see how we do because a 9 is going to be so disappointing on this one. I really hope we can gem it. You are all going to think I'm a complete maniac because up next we have another top 5 card in my collection. This is the 98 Bowman's Best Atomic Refractor Charles Woodson Rookie card, numbered out of 100. This set has a ton of fake copies, so if you look up recent sales, none of them are going to have a serial number. I can't find a single public sale that actually does. Now, I am very nervous for this card. I haven't graded a ton of 90s. It's really hard to gauge if I think this is going to be a 10 or not. I just really hope this isn't a mistake here. Up next, we have arguably, in my opinion, the best-looking rookie card for the NFL's best tight end. Travis Kelsey's Select Gold Prism 2013 numbered out of 10. I paid up for this one, I'm going to be honest. I really wanted to add it to my collection, so when it popped up online, I knew I had to grab it. You just don't know when you're going to see any of these again. Now, on this one, I'm just really hoping I can get a PSA 9. A 10 would be unbelievable here. Up next, we have the first of our SGC slabs. It's a really cool Jerry Rice Bowman Chrome Gold Refractor. Now, this one's not the priciest card ever, but I did want to get in a PSA slab because I am adding it to my collection. You really don't see a ton of gold refractors for Jerry Rice, and honestly, I think they're pretty cheap compared to how good of a player he was. So the fact that I could buy this at a reasonable price, hopefully cross it to a 9, maybe even a 10, I figured I was worth a shot. Next from SGC, we have a 2013 Finest Gold Refractor Tom Brady. Got a pretty good deal on this one. The huge upside comes if it's a 10, but after I snapped it, I found a vertical print line. Now this is probably going to hit it with a 9, maybe even an 8. So probably a mistake on this one, but we shall see. Part of the reason I want to try this with SGC in particular, their auctions kind of end low, and I always think they probably grade pretty strict. But if we find out here that I just end up getting 9s again, a lot of this is probably a waste of time, to be honest. Here's the Peyton Manning, numbered out of 25, Orange Refractor. This one did have a back corner slight issue, so I really think this one's probably a 9 again. But again, I just want to experiment a little bit, try it out, and see how we do. Now, what I've always heard from people is that you cannot regrade serial number cards that were graded by PSA because they'll give you the same grade. We're going to test that theory out with a couple, this being the first one. This Black Refractor got a 7 and was so confused. If you saw this reveal... I remember mentioning that I know it had a minor surface, but really a 7 felt so strict. You can see it in the left corner here. I'm going to point it out in the video. Again, you tell me, does this look like a 7? To me, it really didn't, which is why we're here today. Hopefully, we can get an 8 or a 9. That would be a nice upgrade here. Up next, I have two really nice Tom Brady's that I've already graded twice. I'm going for a third try here because I really do think they're really clean and fit the threshold for a 10. If I don't hit them, I'll probably give up after this one, to be honest with you. As I'm sure many of you know, Tom Brady has had a tumultuous last year in the sports card hobby. I bought these two cards very close to the peak of his market, so they were very expensive. If I can hit a 10 here, which I think they deserve, that'd be really nice. I did buy these cards originally to add to my collection back in the day. I think I'm going to be letting these two go and maybe can go towards some of these other cards that I've been adding towards my collection and use that money that way. All right, let's jump over to the full reveal. All right, so it is a month and a half later. We do have the cards back, as you can see here. And as I'm sure you just saw, guys, we did some damage. We snapped nine slabs. The grades are here. We're going to see how we did, for better or for worse. And all I'm going to say is I am so excited to show you guys. Again, stick around until the end. These grades are insane. And throw a like and subscription below if you're watching this. You end up enjoying the video. I really appreciate it. I love making these. And just thanks so much for tuning in. So I'm going to keep the cards in the right corner here so we can see what's coming, but I don't spoil the grades. 
But first off, we have a Bowman Chrome Jerry Rice Gold Refractor. This is an SGC 9 here. Um, and this one, again, I mentioned I thought it would get a 9. So there's a right bottom right corner that was slightly white. PSA seems to be really strict on this typically. Um, and I did get a 9 on this one. Again, I think I mentioned already, totally fine with this because this one's adding to my collection. PSA is my favorite grading company. So I will cross kind of these cards over $100, $200 when I can, especially if I think they have a chance for an upgrade now at this point. So right away, we're going to come in with a heater here. So this is the 1998 Bowman's Best Atomic Refractor Quad 9 Fives here from BGS on this card. If you've seen my card show video, I did do one of those. I got this in a trade and also half cash um, from a really good friend here in Wisconsin. I had mentioned I would maybe cross it, but I was really nervous because I haven't graded a lot of 90s. But it, same logic as a Jerry Rice. Most of the rest of my collection is in PSA, so I wanted to get this crossed over. And the chance at getting this in a 10 is just extraordinary. I did already mention this as well, but a lot of the copies of this card you'll see if you're interested in this set, a lot of fakes with no serial number. So keep in mind, like if you look up sales for this Woodson, they're going to look like a 10s go for five, six hundred dollars. They aren't, they don't have a serial number. They're a backdoor copy. Just keep that in mind. So again, this one here, we had a 9.5, get a nine here, a huge mistake. Freaking 10. I was so, so pumped, guys. When I opened up this order, first of all, my first observation, I got an upcharge email. That card did not get upcharged and I was pumped and I felt like that was correct because again, there was no sales that they could go off of and I think justify it should be upcharged. So yeah, that that one was insane. Just huge add to the collection. Um, I'm a Packer fan, so huge, huge love for Woodson. Awesome player. I'm sure all of you know him. Um, just love this freaking card. This is awesome. So up next, we have a Clinton Portis Black Extractor. So this order is 20 cards. I threw in a couple extras because it was the same shipping to PSA and back, regardless of if it was 10 cards or 20. So I figured throw in some more. Like I've said on my channel many times, the extra cards in here that I don't add to the collection, I always throw on the eBay store. I try to grade, sell, rinse, and repeat, throw the money into my collection to pay for cards like that Woodson. That's kind of always been my strategy here. And if you, again, if you've seen the channel, that's what I preach all the time. So first of all, again, Clinton Portis Black X Fractor. Did get the nine here. Nice grade on this one. Really not too shabby. I, you can't expect tens on sets like that, so that's totally fine. And up next, we have the Peyton Manning Black Refractor, previously a PSA 7. I just sent this off and got it back from PSA maybe um, a couple weeks before I made this video. Knew I wanted to snap it. I knew, again, you saw there was a surface issue down here and a little bit over here. So I felt like an eight, guys. I really did not think a seven based off other cards I've graded. Again, serial numbered. I'll say this one more time. Everyone in the comments says you can't regrade serial number cards. It doesn't work. They give you the same grade. Guys, it's not true. We got a PSA 8. So it's an awesome upgrade here. So again, debunk that myth for the third time. People need to stop saying that. PSA will look at your cards as I've shown here, which is great because again, I feel like that makes sense. If I were to damage this card, snap it and then damage the card, worse, why would they give it a 7 again, right? They obviously have to regrade it. That's just my opinion. It seemed to work here. Nice upgrade here. Again, you're paying $15 to upgrade the value on this one, probably by $100 to $150, in my opinion, which is very nice. This one I was going to add to the collection. I've recently consolidated for the National here, so this is probably one I'll end up bringing with to trade. I think that's likely what I'll end up doing. Really, really nice card. Very cool set. So I did want to throw out one other quick note. Many of us are superstitious about certain things, maybe especially if you played sports when you were younger, that sort of thing. So my orders, I mentioned this before, I always, always put a worse condition card in front of a really big, better condition card if I can. So I knew this one would probably eight or nine or, you know, seven again. But this gold refractor that I showed you guys, biggest card, my favorite card in my collection, I put behind it. My logic is always, if they see this one, it's an eight or nine. The next one I would assume would get a higher grade. That's always been my logic. I don't know if it's correct or not, um, but we're going to see again. Maybe it helps here. Who knows? Maybe it doesn't. Could be full of crap, but we'll try. So we have the Peyton Manning 2002 Finest Gold Refractor, Quad 9.5s from BGS. I won this in a PWCC auction. It came in a BGS slab, massively chipped on the back, wasn't disclosed. Very disappointed on that side of things. When I got it in, I was obviously like, you can imagine buying a card for 2000 bucks and you get it and it's damaged and it wasn't disclosed. Very frustrated, but the auction I got a great deal on. So I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to refund it. I wanted to keep the card and also gave me a little nudge to maybe try this and cross this. So here we are. So again, huge, 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 huge card here. Nine would be a very big loss. 10 would be a huge win and increase in value. And ultimately, again, it doesn't really matter because it's staying in my collection, but it's nice to have it in a slab of a company that you prefer for long-term value. And on this one, we got a PSA 
a freaking turn. Guys, this is so, when I saw this one again in this order, I did get an upcharge in this one, $150, super warranted. I would have paid three, $400 because the only sale of this card in a 10 is $5,000. Sloth, you're gonna live with me now. Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna take care of you. <laughs> Cause I love you. Uh, I love you, Oh, I love you, <laughs> With this one back from PSA, the family's finally together. I have the whole Topps Finest Gold Refractor run for Peyton Manning. I love this set. Now, what's crazy about this card, and if you follow the channel again, you know I'm a big fan of Peyton Manning and collector of his. I'm friends with a ton of people online and they actually own the other copies. So I know where all three of the other copies are now with this being a pop four, which is really neat. I know the other three aren't going to let go of theirs anytime soon. So we kind of have a nice monopoly on this huge, massive card for Peyton Manning on a 25. So this is just awesome. Just super big. I was so pumped. And I think now I can say, well, safely, I guess, three times in a row now, nine fives have gotten me a 10. So I'm pumped about that. Might change my strategy, might just start looking to buy BGS more instead of paying a premium for PSA 10s. I don't know. Maybe you guys think the same sometimes. It's like, why pay a 10 when these BGS 9.5s are pretty close to them, if not always seem to cross similarly, and you can get them for half the price, right? To me, that just kind of makes sense. So awesome hit here. Really, really big one. So then up next, we have the Bowman Chrome Peyton Manning Orange Refractor out of 25. Really rare, awesome card. A buddy on Instagram and a local guy mentioned this when he saw it at a show, so I picked it up. Um, really cool to add. Off-centered, back had some issues, but again, I want to get a PSA slab just for resale value one day. Um, if I end up selling it, otherwise in my collection, again, I just prefer the PSA slabs. It's just my preference. So this one, we did get a PSA 9. So, so far, again, two for two on SGC 9s getting PSA 9s, which is probably what I expected. I'd be more intrigued in the future, and I'll have to try this grading SGC 9.5s and see if they are similar to Beckett where I can kind of get 10s on some of these. You know, we'll have to see, but nice cool hit here. Then next we have the Own the Game Refractor Tom Brady. Again, graded myself, Get the got the PSA 9. This one I felt was deserving of a 10, but again, sometimes you never know, you might be missing something, but this is the third time I've graded it. If it gets a nine, again, I'm probably done with this one. And it did get the nine, unfortunately, but you can't win them all. So far, a lot of pushes, which are good, right? We haven't seen a downgrade in grades, which I think is very important. And speaking of not seeing a downgrade in grades, so we have the Prism Gold Travis Kelsey BGS9. So I bought this one when I saw it pop up on eBay right away. I'd been looking for one for a while. I missed one prior, which I actually think was the same card. Somebody got a really good deal. Somebody listed it too low and they bought it immediately then relisted it, and then I bought their copy, which was fine. Um, I'm okay just to get the card. So the thing that got this the nine is this corner. It's very hard to see, but you can see it kind of rounded there. It just has an issue. So I felt like really no chance at a 10. I was actually more concerned with it getting eight, an eight here, um, especially, so it's eight out of 10. So I don't care so much about the grade, go in my collection. But again, really nice to cross to a nine would be the goal here. Get a nine. It's a really, really great one here. There is only one 10 in circulation to begin with. So the fact that this got a nine, I'm totally fine with. This set's fairly tough with dents. And again, this corner was obvious. So really nice card for an awesome player that I love. Um, so this <laughs> good one to add to the collection here. That's great. So up next, we do have another PSA card. This is the 2008 Topps Chrome Tom Brady Gold Refractor. Was prior PSA nine. Again, I really felt strong copy, centered well. Back slightly off-centered, but the surface, I could never you know, find anything now that I've graded this twice. And this one, we did get a nine again. So unfortunately, three strikes, you're out on this one. I'm going to pass. Um, probably sell this one. Just it's numbered out of 199. I know I can get another copy easily. It's usually my threshold for what I add to the collection and what I kind of let go of. It's like this Kelsey, I'm not getting back. That Peyton, I'm never going to have a shot at again, more than likely in the next three to four years. Um, so it's important that I really prioritize here because I can't buy and keep every card, um, you know, like I'm sure, obviously common sense, not independently wealthy or anything. So I have to sell some cards, be able to buy cards for my collection. Up next, we have the Topps Finest Gold Refractor Tom Brady. This one was an SGC 9. So this is numbered out of 75. Bought this one again with the intention of getting a good deal on SGC 9. Even if I get a PSA 9, you can still, um, you know, get more trade value out of it or sell it eventually. Um, if it somehow gets a 10, it's a huge win. But again, there's a vertical print line, so I didn't really think there was any shot here. And we did get a 9. So again, not bad. Kind of a push here. So what have we kind of learned so far, in my opinion, is that the SGC 9s tend to get PSA 9s, at least in these three data points. 
The PSA slabs that felt undergraded, I was one for three on, which to me is a win um, and kind of shows me again, oh, I think overall I've done this now maybe six times or something, six or seven, and I've jumped the grade three times now. So to me, that's good odds where you can pay 15 to $19 and make this worth it. And then the BGS 9.5s, we did really, really freaking good on. So we have these two here, just insane. And then the BGS 9, we did cross to a PSA 9, which again was a win. So I would stick around. We have 10 more really cool cards. And again, I kind of mentioned this already. My strategy is always, I kind of buy and sell the more common cards and grade, you know, kind of cards that I can find for good value. Maybe a nine makes you a little bit and a 10 makes a lot. Um, and just kind of, I like to go for short printed cards of Hall of Famers. So like a Kurt Warner insert here on a 2000 Tops Gallery. Gallery of Heroes did get the nine. And then we have a Tops for Steen refractor for Randy Moss. Really neat. Um, numbered out of 349. You're probably wondering if you see my videos, I collect Randy Moss. Why don't you keep this one? It's just because I know I can get this card back again. It's really not hard to find and it grades really easily. So we did hit another 10 here. Nice one. I love the design on this one. Really good. Again, inventory for the eBay store. You know, you sell three, four, five of these and you start paying off, you know, again, the really rare card that I want to hold on to long term. So nice hit here. Good 10. A lot of nines here, but again, very tough order, tough cards to grade, tough sets. So this is totally fine. So a Fleer Avant, Jerry Rice. PSA 9. Nothing fancy. Again, just a cheaper card, but one that I felt looked kind of neat. And there's none listed on eBay graded, so might as well. Same story with this one. So we have a Supremacy out of SP Authentic. Nice insert for Jerry Rice. Again, not an expensive card by any means. Probably $50, $60 and a 10. Um, but just something you can start chipping away at. Again, you grade, you put the work in, you find the card, you prep it, you sell it. Um, and then you start paying off these super rare cards and can kind of grow a collection on a budget. That's, again, the main thing I've always done with this channel. Next, you have Vernon Davis Gold Refractor, PSA 10, really neat. Um, I've had some fun picking up these fantasy football guys in these Gold Refractor sets. Um, numbered out of 50 here, so I think a pop one. Again, just nice one for eBay inventory. Niners fans going to be looking for that. Um, you know, guys who are a fan of the 2000s, 49ers teams kind of thing. So that's kind of neat there. So you have a Troy Palomalu, numbered out of 75. I've learned over time Steelers fans are very, very big fans of Palomalu. Obviously, I think a lot of people who don't even like the Steelers are a big fan of this dude. Um, so hit a PSA 9 here. Again, nice hit, good inventory, numbered out of 75. Next, we have Brian Erlacher, x Fractor did hit the PSA 9. Nice Bears legend here. And then we have a Rob Gronkowski, Topps Chrome Pulsar Refractor, PSA 10. Again, just another really nice one, strong name. Is it going to sell immediately? You know, probably not, but if, over a couple months, sure. I mean, again, I, I always grade stuff with the intention to just throw it on eBay, buy it now, let her sit for a while. Um, I'm not too worried about Rob Gronkowski never having fans. So, you know, again, at some point this will sell and I'll just drop the price over time. Nice green refractor here. And we end her off with a Ben Roethlisberger X-Fractor PSA 9. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed. That was a super fun one from my side of things. Really great additions of the collection. And I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next week.